When we talk about the Internet of Things, what we mean is computers gathering information by themselves. So in the 20th century, in the 1900s, computers only got data from people, typically people using keyboards. In the 21st century, it's become possible for computers and therefore machines to understand the world around them by themselves. Your smartphone has about 10 sensors. It knows where it is. It knows which direction it's going. It knows whether it's moving. It knows what the ambient temperature is. It knows what the barometric pressure is. You don't have to tell it any of these things. And that allows a number of applications. So one, one application that's an Internet of Things application that a lot of people don't think about as an Internet of Things application is Uber, the ride-sharing service. Uber could not work if people did not have smartphones that knew their location. Uh, and you can also see why the internet's important in the Uber application, because your smartphone knows where you are, there's somebody willing to give you a ride, their smartphone knows where they are, that information goes into the internet, uh, and at, at Uber there's a piece of software that finds the nearest driver for you and gets you there. That's a very simple example of how internet-connected sensing delivers value.